Hello dear channel, welcome to this new tutorial 3D Jewelry. Today we're going to create a ring with a pearl. My name is Rohrbach AI. No, just joking channel, don't worry. Be happy. Let's get started. So first, finger size, front view, add mesh, circle, 320 vertices, 18.2 divided by 2, that's the radius, location 000, zero, zero. align, to the view here this is size 8 ref save and be happy this is the pearl ring now let's add mesh uv sphere segments 80 rings 40 radius 4 this is going to be a round pearl of 8 millimeters shade smooth save and be happy now let's create the pearl setting so make a shift d Copy the pearl. Let's call this setting pearl right here. Let's go to edit mode. X-rays. Deselect all. Alt A. B. Select this bottom part. Control I. Invert selection. Delete vertices. Exit edit mode. Go to modifiers. Add modifiers. Solidify. Thickness 0.65. Offset 1 or minus 1 depending your case. Gotta go to the outside like this. Add modifier bevel, three segments, object shade auto smooth. Now take this, put it on the finger right here. I'm very close, but we gotta be very precise. We're jewelers, never forget that. Now, something very important pearls are semi perforated so we need something on the inside top view add mesh plane dimensions 0.8 center it let's put it here inside the setting metal add modifier screw okay so now screw this to the middle like this and uh, let's put some more resolution let's 40 also for the render let's apply the screw at once thing select everything here in edit mode and f close it like this now if you want to be very precise we have to perforate the pearl slightly so let's come here select this part let's make it a bit bigger and let's extrude this on the z-axis right there inside that is going to be used to set the pearl exit edit mode save and be happy now let's start applying some materials names already to have some viewport colors so for the pearl new material pearl so just the viewport display color let's make it slightly creamy like this now this new material gold viewport display right here let's make it a nice yellow gold here Met metallic let's go at 0.5 just for the viewport pleasure now obviously hide the pearl post here is going to be gold shade auto smooth save and be happy and we're ready to start designing some very nice ring let's first create a profile add curve circle let's center it edit mode zoom in subdivide take these s y zero now go to individual origins take these s y zero now this one make it smaller now these make them a bit smaller now move this and that adapt until you have this nice pyramid profile it's what size one control a scale now front view add curve busy curve to the view edit mode come here extrude adapt zero on the y-axis center it Exit edit mode, resolution 62, bevel object, fill caps, select the pyramid profile there. Make a control A rotation, it's inverted. Let's go to edit mode, select everything and adapt the tilt. 180 degrees, material gold, top view, add curve, busy curve. Let's call it tapper one, go to edit mode, turn on the snap to Increment absolute grid snap here and there to the same level. The handles to the same direction. Four and four little squares. Four and four little squares right there. Exit edit mode. Take the curve. Go to geometry. Tapper object. Tapper one. Tapper radius. Multiply. Now we can edit the tapper curve. Move on the y axis to make this much bigger and now let's go edit this let's work on the radius and position sx0 by example let's follow the finger right there 
Now, exit edit mode. Turn the mirror on. Control A, all transforms. Hold this ring body. Save and be happy. Now, go to edit mode. Select everything. Make a shift D on the Y axis. Here. Now, let's start editing this. Adjust the tilt as needed. Put the mirror on the Y axis also, even if it's overlapping the middle curve. For now, it's all right. Now, exit edit mode. Shift D, copy the body on the Y axis, just so we can see it. Because we are going to take the tapper curve, and make a copy on the Y axis, call it tapper tool. Go to edit mode, subdivide it, and do something like this just to start. Now, exit edit mode. Take this element, and the new tapper is tapper two. Let's go to tapper radius override. Obviously, we don't want this. In edit mode, delete the vertices with the control left click, add a vertex, and come here. Obviously, it's a big mess at first. So now, let's go to the tapper, select everything, and let's move it on the Y axis. That's going to edit the thickness. Now, do this. Okay, so we're starting to get this nice leaf shape. Now, bring this top number two to the center. Edit mode. Around here somewhere, let's start adapting the new shape. We can go back to taper radius, multiply. So obviously here, we must stop at the surface of the pearl. Okay, here. Now here, let's keep working on the design. Let's go back to part one. Now, don't forget that we have the mirror on the Y axis. So we can edit this on the fly. Here, remember surface of the pearl, but we want a very smooth ending. So a small trick right there. Bring this one further away. Now let's extrude this. Let's make it a lot smaller and bring this to end perfectly right there. This is a great way to have very smooth beveled curved endings without having to convert to mesh and things like that. This is very simple and very efficient. Okay, now on the side, let's take this curve, shift D on the Y axis. I want this one to go lower. So this is the bridge of the ring. Obviously a very adapted bridge for this design this nice leaf shape edit mode. I want another one. So L select, shift D on the Y axis. Let's bring it here. Back view. Let's follow this curve. Um, we're going to do it like this. So we keep some openings. Okay, I'm done tweaking vertices, handles, radius, tilt. We're going to add some diamonds here and there, obviously. Save and be happy. Now that's the top part. Let's start connecting with the bottom. So top view, add mesh, plane, material gold. Let's go at zero on Z axis. Edit mode, erase these vertices. Now this one, 82.2 divided by two. This is exactly on the finger. Now let's start extruding. We're going to make a small interconnecting structure and start something like this. Let's go at zero Y right there. Here, quickly make the quads. Okay, add modifier mirror, X and Y, exit edit mode, control A, all transforms. Go back to edit mode, zero on Y right there. Okay, so pretty round, something like this. Now let's go add solidify, offset zero, even thickness, yes. Thickness one, add a bevel, add subdivision surface, level three, move it a bit higher here. Let's make a copy on the Z axis, add some small rotation right there and make another one. You can scale a small retraction right there. Now, top view, add curve, Bezier circle, zero on X, zero on Z. Go to edit mode, select this, make it smaller like this, move it a bit, select everything, shift D on X, 1.8, memorize this, select this, shift D on X, minus 1.8. Now take these vertices, make a shift D on the Y axis, make F and F, F and F, right there to connect it, top view, these vertices extrude on the Y axis, come here, make an F, 
Now, individual origins pivot point S Y zero. We have this. Let's call this profile button. Save and be happy. Now that we have our profile, front view, add curve, busy curve to the view, edit mode. Let's make this roughly resolution 100. Let's go to geometry, bevel object, select this very nice profile. Don't worry about the mess on the inside, it'll be fine. Material gold. Now, zero on the y axis. Control A rotation. Let's go to edit mode. Select everything. Tilt 180 degrees. Radius here is 0.5. And let's start tweaking to follow the finger. The progression there is not nice enough. When that happens, it means that you need a specific tapper curve. So let's copy one of the tapper curves right there. Switch edit mode. This is tapper number three. Let's select the bottom. Let's go to geometry. Let's go to tapper object, tapper three. Obviously, it's way too big. Let's go to the tapper, select it, move it on the Y axis, save and be happy. Now let's go to our diamond library here. I'm going to append a pear shaped diamond. It's going to come right here to the side. 175 for 275. Let's make a copy of the diamond. Local view, edit mode. Let's select edge loops. Uh, that's the shape of the diamond. Control I, erase these vertices. So now here, I'm going to select everything. I'm going to set the rotation to zero, but cut it into memory. Edit mode, SZ zero. Now extrude here, make it a bit smaller there. Invert selection, extrude on Z right there. Paste again the rotation. The material is going to be gold. Modifier is solidify offset one or whatever leads you to the outside. Control A, scale. Now let's go at bevel and let's go at subdivision surface, three levels. Put it into place where you were not touching metal, obviously. Some gemstone setter, they really want a lot more metal to make the setting of the gemstone in real life. That's your personal preference and it's based on your specific needs. So here I'm going to do the following. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to rotate this, zero, zero, the mirror. Now let's adapt this position right there. I don't like this metal here hanging that much. So what I'm going to do is that this structure here has this curve and I'm going to readapt it to come out. Obviously, I'll make the settings for manufacturing, for printing. This is not enough metal. This is for rendering. And always remember, I create jewels for real life, for real people, for real jewelers. That's why I've been in business more than 20 years. I think it's pretty obvious. So save and be happy. And let's start making the engravings on the inside. Now, top view, add text. Go to edit mode, Rohrbach, 18 karat. It's a registered trademark. Let's put it right here. Now let's go to font. Let's use the Bodoni BT bold. Now set origin to geometry, center this. So all the details are going to get printed and casted. Let's go to modifiers, solidify, one. Now here, the solidify is glitching on a text is pretty often because it depends how the text is designed in the font. Now, I made a copy of the text. Let's remove the modifiers. Let's convert this to mesh. We can put back the modifiers now. Let's go to edit mode. Let's make an extrusion on the Z axis of minus one millimeter. Select everything to put the normals to the outside if necessary. Now add modifier, simple deform, band, make a shift S, cursor to select it, add mesh cube, rotate the cube 90 degrees, select the origin of the deformation to be the cube, and now the orientation is correct on the z-axis and put it in place as you need. Follow the ring. Now, on the body of the ring, add boolean, path solver at first, select the text, everything is clean because our meshes are really clean and the boolean has no reason to fail. Save and be happy. Now we're ready for rendering. Let's go to environment, color, environment texture, open. Select your favorite HDR right there. 
let's go to shading. So now let's go to render settings. Let's go to film. Let's make a transparent background. Now we're going to create a cube. Let's center it. Let's make it pretty big like this. This is going to be water. Now the ring point of view from here. I'll control zero to set the camera. Let's go to resolution. Let's make it square. 2000 pixels. Pretty good. Now select the camera. Camera display size 150. I'm not changing the sensor size or the focal length. For a basic diamond, you just need to set the IOR at 2418. That's one of the official index of refraction of the diamond in real life, obviously. We don't need dispersion all the time. If you want dispersion, see my other tutorials to fake dispersion or my other tutorials using LuxCore or Octane also. Now the pearl, metallic one, roughness 0.4. Let's go to RGB, plug to color. Let's add an ambient occlusion right here. We're going to make the pearl slightly pink. Now, obviously, you might want add texture, must grab texture, plug it to normal. Okay, so before we do anything else, we can set the scale. We can see it pretty well. Okay, let's go at 150 for the scale. Now add vector bump right here in the middle to height because this is not a normal map. The strength very low right there so that's our pearl so we can make it there are many colored pearls maybe slightly purple this is really nice but now obviously the gold let's take the pearl let's copy rgb and occlusion right here let's copy it right there to the gold let's plug this right there now the color here is going to be gold let's make it not too saturated obviously we need metallic one roughness 0.05 really low now here what i like to do add color hue hsv right there saturation 0.9 maybe a bit warmer 0.9 here we can tweak the color maybe value also a bit lower here we can tweak instead of changing the rgb what we need here is a bevel node on the shading bevel right there sample 24.2 maybe now again Take the pearl, copy the mass grab and bump to the gold, plug to normal right there. We have this. So now here, the floor. New material, water. So here, let's start setting. Transmission 1, IOR 1.33. Base color, metallic maybe 0.5. We'll treat that later. Roughness maybe 0.3. That's pretty nice already. Now add texture, mass grab texture. Plug it to normal. Find the scale something um and actually this is pretty nice for an animation so we can work on this right here vector bump on height that's a lot smoother obviously so for the water it's all between metallic roughness strength and color of the subsurface base color the ambient occlusion and the size of the mass graph texture and the strength of the bump. Because obviously, if you set that to something too high, you might get some weird effects that you don't like or vice versa. And the subsurface helps giving a slight different tint to the water. Great. Now, render settings. Well, it all depends your hardware. I'm going to go with 1200 samples. Noise threshold is already good. The noise, open image denoiser is better than the optics. Optics is faster, but less accurate. Performance depends your hardware. And what you might want suddenly is to add a light, point light. Bring it on the left side front. Let's go to render preview. Let's go to something much too strong. Radius 3, use node 320. We have a nice shine right there in the pearl and in the ring down there. We're ready for render solid view. Save and be happy. F12. Enjoy your rendering. My name is Damien Rohrbach. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This was a pearl ring design gold and diamond ring modeling and rendering tutorial take care and see you soon